I want to receive a gift to Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, United Methodist Church, Translator, Mrs. Irene Park, Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. I had a dream last night. As I was driving my sister's expensive car to a gathering, the streets were flooded. I barely escaped myself leaving the car abandoned. Later, my sister and I went back to look for the car at the lost and found. But there were so many people waiting in line and it was impossible to go inside. Fortunately, we met two workers outside and asked if they had seen a silver Mercedes. They showed us a rundown silver automobile. It looked like a junk and they asked if it was our car. Their attitude was more like a game, not understanding my sister's loss. As I was waking up, I could emphasize the imminent loss which my sister must have felt. After I got up, the Lord said, Since you have received a gift and lost it yourself, trace back where you have lost it. It was rather amazing that the subject was about loss as it was in the dream. You have received so many gifts, but you did not consider them precious and lost them somewhere along the way. Now trace back where you have lost them. And most of all, I have lost you. Do you know the pain of losing you? Losing a car is painful enough, but you are not even aware that you have lost me, your friend, your father, your bridegroom. Father's heart was in such agony looking for you and waiting for you, but you have not even been aware of the fact that you were lost. Do you know how much I cried watching you because of your strenuous life apart from the Father? Do you not realize that you have lost the heart of the Father and lived a whole life without prosperity and health which come from the Father? I have lost not just one child, but all my children. I cried for a long time because I could feel the pain of the father's loss as well as remembering the rugged life I have lived, relying on my own wisdom and understanding. Even though you keep asking for gifts, you have lost my most precious gifts, life and freedom. And you have lost the favorable progress in life. Even now, you see so many people have lost their health and are in agony. You have witnessed pain from broken relationships. So many times you have wounded your friend and severed the relationship. You lost the friend's heart from long time ago. You always blame the person without realizing the value of a friend. What is the use even if I give you a gift? You will throw it away carelessly anyway without considering it precious and not even remembering where you have lost it. You will keep asking for more presents, presents. When you become 50 years old, I requested obedience from you as a gift. The priority was obedience, firstly, secondly, and thirdly. So. You stopped all the traveling from revival meetings and stayed at your church to go through the training. Now you have become 70 years old. Could you give another present for me? I do want to receive a gift as well. Bring a gift with all your heart and with all your mind. There is a specific gift I want. That is bringing my lost child. This is the gift which pleases me the most. My pain is greater than all the pain of the mankind combined. Do you think I do not have any emotions? Do you think I have no grief? Do you think I have no wound? Whenever I find my lost child, there is a festival in heaven. Would you look for that child for me? On your parents' birthday, you give complaints, but you expect to receive all kinds of gifts on your birthday for granted. 
Doesn't it make sense to give a present to the person who went through the toil of childbirth? Lord, please forgive us the evil children. I can feel how much you've been hurt. If my own son had done the same thing, I would be so wounded. It is not a matter of feeling hurt. It is more of a betrayal. How could I express such emotion? I cannot even understand myself why I am so obsessed to look for them. But wouldn't that be the power of love? Lord, I will look for them with the heart of the father of the prodigal son, and I will bring that present to you. But, my beloved daughter, do not overexert yourself to the point of breaking your daily routine. Your health is important to me as well. Win a victory today. Amen. I appreciate for letting me emphasize your pain today. I will give thanksgiving all day long. Let thanksgiving become my daily life. Please stay close to me and strengthen me with your power. When you encounter poverty or disease, many of you say that I give you those hardships in order to discipline you. I want to make it clear that I am God who takes away the poverty and disease from you, not give them. Do not impute the responsibility of the natural consequence of your own actions on me. But how could you pray for the poor without experiencing poverty? How could you pray for the sick without experiencing their pain? Until now, you have prayed merely out of pity, and sometimes you were spectators. Therefore, when you had your own experience of disease, wouldn't it be easier to empathize with the sick? Empathy is the best gift I can give to you. Tell people to make their challenge into confession of thanksgiving and be joyful. What I give you are the gifts from heaven. So, never say what was given by Satan is from me. To everyone who hears this news and rejoice with amen, I will give them prosperity, health, happiness, joy, and peace. I will make them triumph. Amen. We are happy because of Jesus, because he opened the way to meet the Lord as our Father. Thank you. In Hebrew, menuah is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menuah as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.